wow, do you guys see that sunset? You probably want me out of the shot. <laughs> That's really pretty. Come here, Emmy. It hooks right onto the existing flash. So we had the flash set up and then it got darker and we put the aperture up and it's really cool because it uh, fits the bones mount. We have the inner baffle and the deflector plate. So we are really, really cutting a light and we just did a really cool set. Hi guys, my name is Jason Linear. We're here at my workshop in where? Sweden. We're, we're in Stockholm. This is called the Naka Strand. And Naka Strand. <laughs> it is the Naka, Naka Strand. But we're here shooting with, uh, that's Miss Frida back there. And we have my workshop group here doing a great job. Mr. Jesper, he brought some toys. He brought pro photos, he brought what else did you bring, my sweets? Aperture. Oh yeah, that's what we're shooting with. He brought yeah. the aperture, and so uh, we wanted to. I wanted to try it out. We wanted to try it out because um, we already had the light set up with the Godox system, and it's really cool because the aperture uh, is a Bones mount, and so it hooks right onto the existing flash. So we had the flash set up, and then it got darker, and we put the aperture up, and it's really cool because uh, it fits the Bones mount. And it's created some gorgeous shots. Has, has a battery pack from NASA. Now it will fit another battery here, which doubles the output. This is the first time I've actually been able to put a continuous LED inside with a deflector plate. So that's a new one for me. And in real life, this is the effect that it gives. It's really pretty. Look at that sunset. Wow, do you guys see that sunset? You probably want me out of the shot. <laughs> That's really pretty. Come here, Emmy. Look at this. Look at this. The video. Wow. Isn't that there pretty? There is the best sunrises and sunsets in Sweden. We For love reals. it here. We love it here. Oh. I'm going to grab some shots. So now I'll show you guys some shots shot with the aperture. And again, I've been using LEDs for a long time, red lights and such. Um, but the difference is being able to use these with the Bowens mount, which is a huge win. And it's a super easy setup with no additional brackets needed. Now here are some shots I shot with a Godox right before we started with the aperture when it was a little brighter outside. And I just wanted to show you the difference in capturing some of these, these environments, these lighting situations at the workshop. Breaking news! <laughs> so Jesper found out the price. It's, I guess it's 1100 bucks. Does that include the batteries? No. Classic. We have been blessed with the sunset from God. Look at this. That's unbelievable. It looks fake. Look at that. It's real. 100% real. Guys, this is real. <laughs> it, it looks like a movie behind us, but it is 100% real. That is ridiculous. Sweden is amazing. Look at that sunset. You see that, Emmy? Yeah, I do. Holy Santa Maria de Guadalupe. So here's some additional shots that I took of Emmy. Shot these at 1 60th of a second f2.8 35 millimeters, the Sony's ice, at ISO 100. Um, shot them at 2.8 so I could see more of the background with the sunset, as you see there. Something that I also love when I'm doing these, these kinds of images is those catch lights. So if you look in this picture here, Emmy has really beautiful catch light in her eyes. And here's a little sample I filmed with the A7R 3 to kind of let you know and see what the light looks like in video mode because it is a video light. I think it looks pretty amazing. I don't want to hear any GDPR crap out of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point, Emmy. <laughs> Y'all agree to be in a video? Yeah. Yeah, like she said, this GDPR garbage is the reason it starts with a G. Since there was no snow in Sweden, Gosh. Emily decided to try to skate on room keys. So now you know how Emily gets her cardio in while on the road. <laughs> the following day we went to the Royal Palace area of Stockholm and this time we used the light dome which is made by Aperture which is another Bowens mount and I wanted to compare it to what we were getting with the Westcott Rapid Box XXL. I gotta say I really liked the Westcott better 
uh, the aperture did produce a very nice light like you see there however um, I really preferred the Westcott it just has a softer light here are some shots that you can look at that we actually did with Godox earlier in the day and again I'm just trying to give you an idea as to some of the differences between flash versus LED and what we cover at the workshops so uh, this is the second day we're here we did a second set um, this this is well you guys know Miss Emmy Hi, everyone. there's a workshop group we've gone late tonight this is after the the workshop. This is a new, again, I left the, well, TSA took my AOS batteries out of my Rotolite, so I don't have any Rotolites with me. Uh, took them out of my bag, so we've been using other lights. This is a Dado light that my workshop attendee from Transylvania uh, brought. And look at the difference. That's the Dado just directly on me. And then look at the difference with the aperture on me directly it's very soft now it's probably the softest light I've seen and I'm not saying it because it's aperture it's because it's a Bowens mount and today even more than yesterday we have the outer sock of this is a rapid box XXL 48 inch we have the inner baffle and the deflector plate so we are really really cutting a light and we just did a really cool set so I shot this with the A7R3. I have this really light scarf and we call this weasel action. Ready? <laughs> she weasels and, and, the, and I'm shooting these consecutive frames and they look absolutely beautiful. I really love how these shots turned out and uh, like I said earlier, some of the softest lighting I've ever seen and that's because of the uh, great amount of diffusion, the three layers that we're able to put up with the, the Rapidbox XXL. I got to say one big advantage of having the Bowens mount for LED as well as for strobe is I get to take one modifier everywhere. And that's huge because I can switch from going from flash to LED very quickly. And in a busy shooting environment, that would be a big advantage for me and I think for other photographers out there. So awesome. you did great. Thank you. Um, and I shot, I think those at five frames a second. I didn't need 10 frames on those, but that's one. Now watch, you're going to watch this because the diffusion's off. You're going to see the difference in just adding that diffusion. What a difference it makes. It even makes my skin look good. <laughs> and her skin always looks great. Thank you. So um, at any rate, uh, a backlight, a key light, and this is one reason why for the longest time I've been such a huge proponent of LED lighting at night, nothing beats it. We, we had all the Godoxes and everything, we put them away because the LEDs ran, uh, reign supreme at night. That's why I've been using Rotolite for years and now we're just having fun with everything. It's, I love it. It's a Blasto. Blasto Rusel. Um, how, did you guys have a good time today? Oh yeah, definitely. What, what, if you're not enthusiastic, I'm gonna kick your <laughs> what did you learn? A lot. A lot of, uh, about lightning, about Transylvanian sucking blood. <laughs> <laughs> he really is. This is we, we're, we're sitting here in Sweden. This is an international group. He is from Romania. Stefan is actually Swedish. I'm Swedish, yes. Yes. And what's your, what did you learn today? Oh, uh, a lot about posing and uh, balancing uh, and light. Uh, and cutting the horizon at the right places. So it, it's a lot of different stuff. Uh, Good. A lot of fine tuning. Good. And awesome. Awesome. Thank you. This is Jesper. He okay. is either in the CIA or as a hitman. <laughs> so uh, tell us what you learned today, Jesper. Well, posing and lighting today. Yeah? Are there glasses and others? Is there a camera inside your glasses? No, two. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have uh, the doctor. He's telling me to replace my hip. He actually is an orthopedic <laughs> surgeon. What did you learn today, brother? Um, because I'm Austrian, I learned to um, spread the feet. Because to you're stand Austrian? upright. <laughs> it's like skiing. Oh. Not to fall. Okay. Yeah, it is like skiing. Yeah. So you learned a lot about posing. Yes, right. Well, thank you. Here we have my little pony. Okay. Hi, Jason. Hi, YouTube. What did you, what did you learn today? I learned that I could actually combine LED lights with off-camera flash and before today I was stuck in the notion that it was either one of them 
but you have shown me that you can combine them and that was something that blew my mind. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it is pretty cool to be able to combine them. So I'm glad you, you learned that today, brother. Thank you. Last but not least, we have Marky Mark. Hi. He's, uh, he's coming over from the UK. Yeah. What did you learn today, brother? Uh, about doing the uh, main light first and then adding the extra lights afterwards. Fantastic. Make, yeah, making sure that's set up first. Fantastic. Yeah. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was good. I love you guys. I had a great time. We'll be, we'll be paying for your dinner afterwards since you said nice stuff. That's not true. At any rate, um, and what did you learn today, Miss Emmy? I learned how soft the Aperture Light is when you put it inside the Westcott Rapid Box with all of these layers of diffusion. It's beautiful. Yeah. It is. She's the best. Thank you. You're the you, best. We love you guys. Love you too. Um, until what? Until next time. Keep shooting. Never give up on your dreams. Find the right gear that works for you. me. And remember, you'll have one chance to get it right. And if you get it wrong, come to a workshop. <laughs> Oh, I was going to say you're out. Come to the workshop. <laughs> we love you guys. JasonLeer.com slash register. Peace. Peace. This is cursed. Are you still there? Are you still there? Yeah, I'm talking to you. If you want to learn more online with us, go to patreon.com slash Photography. And if you want to do crazy crap like this in crazy locations, go to jasonlinner.com slash register and we'll sign you up for a workshop. Well, actually, you have to sign up. And you gotta pay a little bit of money and then you get to play with us. It's awesome. Do it. Now. Proud of you. <laughs> All right, yeah. People are going to be like, what just happened? <laughs>